This is Drop X. He can move around the map one chunk at a time, requiring a completed drop table from accessible creatures to unlock new chunks. He can only use items received from drops, created by himself or purchased with coins. He can't sell his drops to shops, he can only make purchases. His current goal is to make his way to Berthorpe to earn the Dragon Defender. Last time we completed the Goblin Drop Table killing just under 600 Goblins before finally receiving the Air Talisman Drop. We managed to get level 19 in attack, strength and defense in the process as well as 21 hit points and 15 prayer. We don't have too much to show in terms of weapons and armor, we're currently rocking the bronze spear for a weapon. We also have a chef's hat and a brass necklace, both of which provide no bonuses. In the bank we have a bronze square shield for defense, though we can't use it alongside the two-handed spear. We have the makings of a rune supply, though with level 1 magic and no air or mind runes, we can't do much with it right now. We have a decent number of bolts and arrows gained from the goblins and a random event, but no bow or crossbow. Today we'll be choosing a new chunk to unlock and pick a new creature's drop table. Moving out of the Lumbridge Castle chunk, we'll now be heading west in the direction of Draenor Village. In this chunk there are a few new different creatures for us to pick from. We're going to start by eliminating the monsters we can't make use of. The spiders and giant spiders have no drop table beyond clue scrolls, which do not count towards a drop table in our rules. There are the giant rats, which other than clue scrolls only have a drop table with items they always drop, eliminating them too. Finally, there are more goblins in this chunk. Since we've already completed the goblin drop table, we can eliminate them too. There are a few contenders for today however. Despite what I just said, there are a second kind of goblin in this chunk who are armed with weapons. They have a different drop table from the goblins we massacred last time, including useful herbs and gear. There are also the muggers with drop tables similar to those of men and women. Finally, there's one unicorn. It has a pretty shallow drop table, including new items of unicorn horn and insold unicorn head. We will however be going after one final creature, the Ham Guard. Found within the Ham Hideout, the Ham Guards come in three levels, 12, 18 and 22. Though their drops are identical regardless of level, they have many useful items for our purposes, including a full set of clothing, some weapon upgrades and some tools to allow us to do mining and woodcutting. They drop a few starter herbs and a few seeds as well as miscellaneous other items. From their drop table we can exclude bones, bronze arrows, cowhide and coins, all of which we have before. We'll also be excluding watermelon seeds and snake grass seeds as they are beyond our current highest drop rate of 1 in 512. If we manage to get either of these however, they will be very nice additions. We'll be hoping to get the steel dagger quickly as it's an upgrade to our current weapon and we can use it alongside our bronze shield. We'll also become more defensive with each piece of ham clothing we acquire. Raw anchovies and raw chicken are ideal for us to increase our cooking level, while also working as healing as we take out the ham guards. With that, let's get killing. This chunk gives us access to a tree patch for farming, as well as a few new creatures that I've already mentioned. It extends out to the west and ends just before the Draenor Village Jail. We don't really have access to the swamp from here, only a little patch south of the fence. We also don't have access to Farmer Fred or the nearby potato field just yet. Since we've chosen to go after the ham guards for their drops, we'll need to pick the lock of the trapdoor to enter their hideout. Given our thieving level of 1, this can take some time, but we get in pretty quick this time round. It's time to sneak around the hideout. We're specifically going after the level 12 guards. Since all the ham guards share a drop table, they're the best for a level. With 15 hit points, they take far longer to kill than the goblins, though still not that bad. First kill, onion seeds. That's a new drop. I'm going to tag the level 12 ones for now until I learn where they spawn. Potato seeds on this kill, starting off strong with the seed collecting. Hit points level 22 on this one. We're still training on controlled with the spear, so we'll get a mix of attack, strength, and defense levels as we go. Third kill, bronze arrows. We got some of those in the maze last time, so nothing new here. Level 16 prayer though. Some more onion seeds. Cabbage seeds, that's a new unlock. Our hit points aren't looking great though. We're gonna leave the hideout and attack some of these giant rats near the castle for their meat. They only have five hit points, so they're not too hard to kill. That's raw rat meat on the account now. 
While we're collecting up this rat meat, we get our strength up to level 20. That's enough meat to get our hit points back up. We're still cooking in this fireplace. Level 3 cooking. Level 4 cooking. Not a great cooking rate on those. I'm back down in the hideout now. First skill back, bronze axe. That's a new unlock. Now we can do woodcutting if we wanted. Rusty sword drop, no good to us at the moment, but it is new. Raw chicken drop, they drop three, which we can now cook down here on the fire. Only burning one. That's a bit of food. Damaged armor, that's another new one. Also no good to us right now. There's another one. I wonder if these will be the new hammers. Another rusty sword, oh dear. Oh no. Anyway. A bronze dagger. We're really looking for the steel dagger as that's our biggest weapon upgrade. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. An uncut jade. It's a new unlock, but we can't cut it until we have level 13 crafting. There it is, the steel dagger. Our new best in slot. Now we can train our melee stats independently and wear our shield too. We're going to fetch that from the bank for a defense upgrade, then come back down. Back at the rats for food again. We're going to have to do this a lot given how quickly our hit points are being taken down. That's level 20 attack. There's level 20 defense too. Oh, and a clue scroll. Can we do it? No. Gertrude again. A full inventory of food. Here's hoping we don't burn at all. Well, we got level 7 cooking and burned just under half. This should improve as we get more levels. We're back in the hideout with our food. We should have a longer run this time without having to kill rats for a little bit. A needle drop, that's a new one. Iron axe, that's new also. A close scroll too. Dwarven mines, no good to us. I'm still a piece of garbage. Sweet corn seeds. Our seed stock grows and another unlock. Buttons. We need level 2 crafting to polish these. We'll hold on to them and use them once we have the level. A leather body. That's our new best body slot. Well, our first body slot, I guess. A random event. Niles. That is a helmet, my dude. Really? Money. Thank you very much. Steel arrows, another new drop, but no good to me until I get a bow. Hit points level 23, always happy to get another hit points level. And a tinderbox, that's fire making unlocked. Cowhide, new from hand members, but not a new unlock thanks to the cows. And let me see what you have! I'm going! No! That's fletching unlocked now too. Level 22 strength, I'll be doing strength for a little bit. Ham hood unlocked, that's better defenses than the chef hat, and tide is the rarest ham clothing piece. That's one hand piece down. Speak of the devil, there's the boots. Two pieces down. The cloak too. These are the rarest pieces done in our first cape slot. Very nice. Ham robes, another hand piece. That provides a little more defense in our first leg slot. Really filling out the set now. Our defenses are looking a lot better than they were at the start of the episode. An iron dagger. That's a downgrade to our steel, but another new unlock. That's all the daggers now. Some iron ore unlocked. Another strength level. A bronze pickaxe, the first of our pickaxes. We don't have any mining locations unlocked just yet, unfortunately. More hand boots. We already have those ones. A steel axe, another good upgrade for woodcutting. Yet another set of hand boots. Okay, maybe these are the new hammers. An iron pickaxe, direct upgrade and a new unlock. There's level 17 prayer. What are you doing now? I'm averting my eyes, oh lord. Well, don't. 24 strength. Ah, some thread. That'll go with the needle. Another new unlock. Okay, so far that's 53 kills down. Not a bad haul so far. We're definitely eating through our food though. Getting back into this hideout takes a while every time. With our thieving level, we aren't really very quick. We are allowed to train our thieving on this account, but we can't keep any of the money drops we get. That's some coal unlocked. First item back. Some logs, another new unlock. We can fletch a bit with the knife we got here too. That's the ham shirt. It's not better than our leather body. Despite matching with our other clothing, we need the defenses more. Strength level 25 and nothing new on the drop. Another easy clue. This one is in Yanil, way too far away. There's the steel pickaxe unlocked. That'll be the best pickaxe drop we get from ham guards. Some more buttons, future crafting experience. Raw anchovies, a new drop. They only heal us for one, so they're pretty poor food. We burn two of them also, but we do get level eight cooking. There's another jade. Still no uncut opal just yet. Level 26 strength. I'm going to go for level 30 before I switch styles. There's the opal. New unlock. Time to bank. We're up to 82 kills now. There's still a few things for us to get. We're still missing the ham, gloves and logo. Feathers, all of the herbs and the tomato and strawberry seeds. We're going to have to kill giant rats again for more food. Level 10 cooking and 11 more food burned. That's not great. Another strength level and there's the ham gloves. These are our best and only gloves. Now we just need the logo for the full ham set. There's some feathers, that's the last of the other drop table. Another hit points level. Some more chicken drops. We burn both. Great. More chicken. Okay, those chicken. Let's not burn these. 
Well, two out of three. A Guam drop, that's an unlock and our first of the herbs on the account. We can't make use of them until we unlock herb lore, but we need them as a drop anyway. Back at the bank again, 120 kills now. There's level 2 thieving just from the trapdoor, a testament to how many times we've been down there. Level 29 strength, a clue scroll. Can we do it? Of course not. Another one. Nope. Oh, come on! Hit points level 26 and 30 strength. We're going to train on defensive style now. Another clue scroll in Port Sarim. That's not good enough. Level 21 defense. The more we train defense, the less often we'll have to heal. Another full inventory. Going to need some food again. 14 cooking. There's the strawberry seed. Another unlock. That's the rarest of the drops we're going for today. Another defense level. They're coming in quick. Grimy Marantil. That's two of the three herbs. Oh, speaking of herbs. Sorry, mate. Only have the Marantil. Out of space again. We don't need to bring as much food down here each time now, thanks to our rising defense levels. We're up to 178 kills and still just missing a few things. That's another level on just the trapdoor. So much time spent here. There we go, the tomato seeds. That's all of the necessary seeds now. We only need the ham logo and grimy taramin drops and then we're done. There's 19 prayer too. 25 defense? We'll keep it on defense a little longer. Ultimately, we're going to need 130 levels between strength and attack to get into the Warriors Guild, but we'll need level 60 defense too if we want to use the Dragon Defender, so it's not wasted. Another herb, but not the one we wanted. Another ham cloak. We haven't had a ham piece in a while. This one is tied for the rarest, but we still don't have the ham logo. What's that about? Spoke too soon. There's another ham robe. Time to bank again. We're up to 214 kills now. Another clue scroll. Blues, 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 blues. Edgeville. Never mind. Another Guam. I get excited every time I see a grimy herb. You raised my hopes and dashed them quite expertly, sir. And we're full up again. Back to the bank. Another clue that we can't do. I'm getting pretty used to that. And that's in Falador. Can't do that one either. There's some raw chicken though. There we are, 30 defense. Time to swap to attack training. Another grimy Guam, another grimy Marantil. We need that Taraman instead. We're up to 289 kills now. We're still under the drop rate. I'm gonna withdraw my money though. We have enough money now to make a relatively big weapon upgrade. Here with Bob, we can buy the Mithril Battle Axe just from the money we've earned from drops. Nice. And we're poor again now. It's a pretty big upgrade over the Steel Dagger on our melee strength bonus and our attack bonuses for Slash and Crush. It will be slower, but it's going to make up for it by being far more accurate. Let's test it on a rat. Level 16 cooking. We're still burning a lot. Back in the hideout again. There's some more tomato seeds and a clue scroll. Remington, too far away. Clue scroll again. In the exam center. Another one so quickly. We still have that last one on the ground. Hort Piscarellius. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined 25 attack and an easy clue Remington again how many times do we have to teach you this lesson old man well we're full up again with 326 kills on the tracker that felt a lot quicker with the battle axe 26 attack 30 hit points a snake grass seed that's one in 1458 way over our current objective but we're still gonna take it we still can't get the one in 82 ham logo though A meat pie from the sandwich lady. We won't eat that, we'll hold on to it. Another clue scroll we can't do. And another one, fishing guild. They're just taunting me at this point. 21 prayer, one more level and we can use rapid heal. Grimy Guam, not new. Yet another full inventory, 401 kills now. We still only need the Taraman and Ham logo. That's level 30 attack. We'll go back to strength training now. A clue scroll in Port Sarim. So close and yet so far. Level 31 strength. Another inventory with nothing new. The ham logo, finally! It's no better defensively than the brass necklace other than Fashionscape, but now we only have one thing to go. We're at 448 kills now. Next kill is a clue scroll in the PvP arena. Level 32 strength. Now that we have the ham logo, there's only the grimy Taraman left to go. With 470 kills so far, we're over the drop rate, but not by that much. Another thieving level from the trapdoor. Uh, another clue scroll. Oh! We can do that one. Okay, back to back. Never mind. Glad to be able to even do one step, to be honest. Gotta get back into the hideout again now. Level 17 cooking. Edgeville Monastery Clue. Not for us. Another pinball random event. Two diamonds. Those are new. Clue step in Port Sarim. 32 hit points. We're at an even 500 kills now. I'll need to get some more food together. 
We managed to get level 22 prayer from the rats. Now we can stick on rapid heal while we're down there and get some hit points back as we go. That's 18 cooking now too. 34 strength. We can now hit a 7 using the battle axe. And there's a 7. Another inventory down with no new drops. We can restore our prayer here after each trip. Drain all mana clue. No can do. 35 strength. That's 554 kills. Can we get our final drop before the system update? Another inventory with nothing new. Grimy Terraman! That's the final drop we needed. We did manage to beat the system update also. That was a total of 594 kills on the hand guards. We did kill a few of the higher level ones by accident, but mostly that was the level 12 guards. This is our final bank. We managed to get so many ham hoods and cloaks, but only the one logo. The RNG is crazy. These are our final combat stats with our new weapon and armor. Quite an improvement over last time. We've had a pretty significant increase in our melee stats, prayer and cooking with a small thieving upgrade. Next time we'll be able to unlock a new chunk. Let me know where you think it'll be in the comments. Bye!